let's look at setting preferences for NetSuite. This is one way to help us be more efficient in using NetSuite. From the home page, you will see settings. Settings allow us to personalize our dashboard or set preferences. It's also where we can update our security questions or change our email and password. The settings can be placed anywhere in the dashboard, but it's the one thing that cannot be removed from the dashboard. Also, setting preferences only affects our own page and how we view it and how we like our setup. It doesn't affect other users. Once you click on Set Preferences, we can set it to different languages or change the sorting. We can change the time zone. Based on our preference, we can change the first day of the week, change the date, the time, and the number format. There is an auto place decimal if we want to put in a decimal point. All of these can be customized to how we want it. Most of the items in the page are clickable. Click on it to see the field help. This will tell us what it is for. If we're lost, we just click on one of them and we can see what each item does. For example, this field help is to submit warning field. Knowing what it is, we can turn it on or off based on our preference. In setting preferences, we can also set preferences for internal ID. So here, what you see, and you see the box for internal IDs, it shows all the internal IDs when we're looking at a list. This is helpful because all of the accounts have their own unique internal ID. When we are doing a lot of CSV updates or uploads, the best way to identify certain transactions or items that we want to update will be based on the internal IDs because it's unique. Let's turn the internal ID off by leaving the box unchecked and save it. Let us see how this affects the list. This is the chart of accounts list. Here we can see the account name, account number, and all the other information about the account. Since we turned off the internal ID, it's not shown here. Now, to show the internal IDs on the chart of accounts, go to Home, Settings, Set Preference, check the box Show Internal IDs, and Save. The result is a chart of accounts, and you can see the internal IDs show up now. This chart of accounts shows the internal IDs for each record. These are unique numbers. It may be easier to use the internal IDs when updating accounts, as it may prove to be less confusing when you're dealing with multiple accounts with very similar names. This does not only affect accounts, this also affects the list or transactions. Here is an example of a sales order. You can see here that sales orders have unique IDs. And because we clicked the internal ID or show internal IDs, we can actually see it and reference what that item is related to.